Hey everybody, I'm Ender. And I'm Stroke. And right now we're going to go over the Ministry of War interface. There's a lot of uh, different little options, things you can turn on and off. We want to show you exactly what those are right now. Ministry of War, it's a pretty big game and there's a lot going on. So we just want to make sure that we kind of hold your hand and walk you through it so you you know, know what's there and how to, how to work things. So first of all, as you can see, there's all these buildings. This is a uh, pretty well lever leveled up account right here. And the names are all the buildings. It can get a little overwhelming. So if you want to turn those off, Hit the flag right here that says show the name, turn it on and off. You can also hit shift, the shift button, and it'll also turn them on and off. This is a huge help when you have a big city and, and uh, all these different buildings, it'll help you a lot. Or if you're not very good at organizing your city like I am and you put all your houses together because it just looks chaotic. So you can turn off those names and really clean things up. Exactly. So we have a few other things that are important in, in the uh, world view or the city view. Uh, up here at the top, we have all your resources, and if you hover over them, you see how many you have, your max inventory, and more importantly, you know, the production. So if you have any penalties, if you have soldier consumption, uh, you, you can have a good idea of what's going on and, and what you can expect with your resources. We have a few other things. Uh, the status grid can go in and out. It shows your bonuses. This one is your territory bonus, and this is your... Um, your civil, civilization resource bonus. Um, some other buttons, to, you know, achievements, talents, your player info. Um, more, you know, this is a, a cool one. We have chat, so you can either extend it up, see a lot of chat, or you can just take it down, click the X, get rid of it. You can switch from guild, you can see everything, your civ, private chat. Help is to talk to our in-game GMs. And, you know, once you kind of go away from it, it, it hides itself. Exactly, and on the bottom panel, you can see uh, player name, your glory, carnage, loyalty, territory, and population. We'll get into some of those later. The control panel down here has most of the major places you need to go. Uh, if you need to build things, troop management, arena, guild, friends list, everything like that. There's the shop, and there's your treasure or inventory. Right here, you'll see all the different views. The hall, which we talked about, the city, which we're in right now, region, which we will get into, and world, which we'll get into after. The map right here is very important. Uh, to show the entire world map, you click the plus, and it shows the whole world, including the CZs and who controls what territory. You can scroll over everything, and it'll give you all the information you need on them. For, for the heroes, to, to the right side, we have like a quick tab that'll let you see everything. Your heroes, your merchants, your, your missionaries. Um, you can click on them, find out where they are. You can garrison them. You have different options. Uh, and if it's too much, you don't need, to, need that right now. You can click this arrow and just you know, push it away and see more of the game screen. Another thing you have up in the upper right is your uh, is your queue, which you can your queue window, which you can turn on and off from here by clicking the show queue window button. If you have it on, it'll show your building queues. If you're building anything, units, skills, if you're researching in your items that are in use, it'll show them all right there. You can also turn that on. You can also turn it off by hitting the X right there. So if you're if you're playing on a bit of a smaller screen, you can turn you can hide that, turn this off, close that, and then all of a sudden you have a whole bunch of area to work with right there. Or if you're making awesome YouTube videos, you can you know hide those as well and give everybody a better view. Also helps. So the next view is the region, which is very similar to the city view in terms of interface. You can turn these on and off, bring these out. There's not a whole lot that's different. And the chat, of course, you can do right there. The final view is the world view, which shows you the whole world. And with this one in the top right, um, you can see you have options to turn on your guild territory, you can see other players territory and just have an idea of what's going on. So you can see right here that my civilization is being pushed back in right now by my neighbors. Um, I do not have a whole lot of territory and I need to, to pick up the slack. Also in the direction window up here, you can use these buttons to move around. You can also drag. You can input direct coordinates in there if you know them. This is the enter button, and if you hit find, um, it's a way to locate different things on the world map, which we'll all get into later. And those are the basics of the interface. Exactly. If you have any questions, ask your fellow players, and they'll be happy to help you out. Thanks. Thanks.